Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. In a previous episode, I had showed you my process for reloading these uh, pet hand loads for 223. So today we're going to take these pet loads out back to the range and do some shooting with them. Now, as you may recall, uh, these loads use a 55 grain bullet and a 77 grain bullet, respectively. Um, I've already done enough shooting to compare the accuracy of them, and the accuracy is really pretty comparable all the way out to 500 yards. So today what we're going to be doing is comparing the effect of the two rounds at various ranges, um, both on a uh, soft target, for which I'm using a milk jug full of water, and on a harder target, uh, for which I'm using a quarter inch thick steel plate. Well, the target's kind of backlit, and we don't have a whole lot of light left, but let's try a few shots at 500 yards anyways. Well, there's a jug we shot with the 55 grain, 77 grain. There's the bullet hole from the 55 grain and from the 77 grain. But in both cases, I'm not seeing any visible difference in the damage done by these two bullets at 100 yards. Well, at 300 yards, both the 55 grain and the 77 grain bullet are still effectively shredding milk jugs. I'm not seeing any appreciable difference in the effect on the soft target. However, if we look at our steel plate, these two are impacts from the 77 grain bullet, whereas these two are impacts from the 55 grain bullet. So looking at those two conveniently right next to each other, you can see that on the steel plate, there's a pretty significant difference between the two bullet weights, and the lighter bullet is actually doing quite a bit more damage. However, whereas both rounds were easily penetrating a quarter inch of mild steel at 100 yards, neither one is fully penetrating the plate at 300. Well, at 500 yards, definitely looked like the 55 grain bullet did more damage to the milk jug although I'm afraid the 77 grain was kind of a grazing blow you know it really only hit up on the side there so if it had been a more direct hit I think those two results might have been somewhat more similar now examining the steel plate 
there's our impact of the 55 grain bullet and there's our impact of the 77 grain bullet uh, neither one of them really did much damage to the plate at this distance there's just some very superficial denting and a spatter of lead to mark their impact uh, the dent from the 55 grain bullet might be just a little bit deeper but once again the the damage overall is pretty comparable well I had to cut our test a little bit short there due to the weather but uh, I think I got the data that I need you know I was really kind of surprised that the heavier bullet didn't offer a more significant advantage at longer range um, in fact at 300 yards it really looked like the lighter bullet was doing significantly more damage to our steel plate um, which is not necessarily what I would have expected going into this but that's why we do these kinds of tests um, so there you have a shooting demonstration of my pet loads for 223 and until next time thanks for watching the Idahoan show